Hello everyone. Today I will be testing lossless scaling 3.0 again, this time with demanding games. Let's get started. Here are my settings today. I set the display resolution to match the in-game resolution at 800p. I chose LSFG 3.0 with X3 mode for frame generation and will also test it with X2 for comparison. For a resolution scale of 800p, I set it to 80%, allowing the game to render at 640p and upscale to 800p with barely noticeable image quality loss. I selected AMD FSR for scaling and added sharpness at 8 to maintain sharp visuals at 800p. Additionally, I turned on the optimized version for better performance, especially when testing with demanding titles. Sync mode is set to off to allow tearing for better latency, and the max frame latency is set to 3, which is the recommended value for AMD. For Legion settings, I set it to performance mode with a TDP of 30 watts, OS power mode to efficiency, display resolution at 1280 by 844 hertz, and VRAM set to auto. Today, I'm testing Star Wars Jedi Survivor. The game is running at 1280 by 800 with low settings. This is the game without lossless scaling. It's running with a base FPS around 42 to 45 FPS. Now I've turned on lossless scaling X3 with all the settings I mentioned earlier. This is the game with lossless scaling X3 with the resolution scale set to 80%. The game maintains an average base FPS around 35 FPS after activating frame generation. Using FSR sharpness at 8 keeps the game looking sharp and not blurry. However, there is noticeable flickering and ghosting in the UI, and ghosting around characters is very distracting, making it difficult to enjoy. The game runs smoothly, but the image quality makes it feel unplayable. Please note that this performance issue may vary depending on the game. Now I've capped the FPS to 30 to see if there are any improvements. The game is running with the base FPS capped at 30, using lossless scaling X3 to reach 90 FPS. It runs smoothly and stably with no noticeable input lag. However, flickering, ghosting in the UI, and artifacts are still present as issues. This is the downside of using lossless scaling at a low base FPS of 30 with demanding titles. If you're playing this game, I highly recommend using AFMF2 instead as the image quality is significantly better with AFMF2 frame generation. Please note that this testing is done on the Lenovo Legion Go Gaming handheld, and results may vary with different hardware. Now I've cleared the frame rate limit and tried lossless scaling X2 to see if there are any changes in performance and image quality. This is the game with lossless scaling X2. After activating frame generation, the game feels less smooth compared to X3, while the flickering ghosting UI issue still persists. This issue occurs even when setting the resolution scale to 100% in the lossless settings. However, the ghosting and artifacts around characters seem to be slightly less noticeable with X2. Now I've capped the FPS to 30 to see if there are any improvements. The game is running with the base FPS capped at 30, using lossless scaling X2 to reach 60 FPS. The game runs more stable with a frame rate lock of 60 FPS, even during combat. However, the image quality, ghosting UI, and artifacts remain the same. You can expect better results with different hardware by capping the FPS at 50 or 60 FPS. This test is specifically for the Lenovo Legion Go, and with a base 30 FPS after activating frame generation, this is the maximum performance I can achieve with TDP set to 30 watts, the lowest resolution at 800p, and the lowest in-game settings. Based on the comparison, it shows that with lossless scaling, RevaTuner capped at 30 FPS scaling X2, there are noticeable ghosting issues in the UI and artifacts around characters, which significantly impact the visual experience despite the frame rate doubling to 60 FPS. 
In contrast, AFMF2, Radeon Chill capped at 35 to 40 FPS, delivers a far superior experience with no ghosting in the UI and no artifacts, even at a low base FPS. Gameplay with AFMF2 is visually cleaner and smoother, making it the better option for demanding titles. Using AFMF2 with a TDP set to 25 watts, low and medium textures, and FSR set to quality, the game maintains a base FPS of nearly 40. Meanwhile, with lossless scaling X2, a TDP of 30 watts, resolution scale at 80%, and all settings at low, the game can only maintain a base FPS under 35, requiring it to be capped at 30 FPS for stable performance. Lossless scaling demands significantly more performance to double the frame rate compared to AFMF2. As a result, AFMF2 is more efficient, providing better image quality while achieving similar smoothness to lossless scaling X2. In conclusion, for demanding titles with a base frame rate around 30 to 40 FPS, AFMF2 is the superior choice over lossless scaling. While both AFMF2 and lossless scaling can achieve similar levels of smoothness, the visual quality of lossless scaling falls short due to distracting ghosting and artifacts, especially in demanding titles with a base frame rate of 30 to 40 FPS. AFMF2, on the other hand, offers a much cleaner and more visually pleasing experience without these issues, making it the better choice for demanding games. If you value both smooth gameplay and superior image quality, AFMF2 is the clear recommendation. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Here. I need a minute. I'm not a little bit strong.